Hello, welcome back. Today a release we really have to wait for. My God, I don't know when I pre-ordered it a month ago, many, many months ago, but finally, finally it arrived. Acoustic Sounds series, John Coltrane and Johnny Hartman. Finally, we have this release. Content comes in this plastic sleeve, two hype stickers. One says, like always, audiophile vinyl reissues from the world's greatest jazz labels. Mastered from the original analog tapes by top master engineers. Manufactured at QRP pressings on 180 gram vinyl. Tip on gatefold sleeves printed on high grade board. Yeah, what 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 a, what a release! I mean, John Coltrane and Johnny Hartman, a singer and a saxophonist, quite quite interesting, extremely interesting in a way. the The story behind it, if I remember correctly, Coltrane and Hartman knew each other from from the late forties when they played together with Dizzy Gillespie, and. The producer of this album, Rob Thiele, Bob Thiele, excuse me, he came up with the idea that Hartman and Coltrane should do an album together and Hartman wasn't convinced at all because he himself doesn't consider himself as, as a jazz singer. And he said, oh, with Coltrane, he, he, he was so fond of this idea, but then he, he uh, uh, heard a concert in, in New York, in Birdland, and then the idea grew on him, one might think, and then they uh, uh, said, come on, let, let's do it. And how lucky we are, how lucky we are they did. Uh, I think, I think uh, uh, if the story is true, on, on, on the first song on the second side is Lush Life. And, and this is such a beautiful, great uh, interpretation of them. And, and on, the, on the way to the studio, they heard the Nat King Cole version of Lush Life and decided, come on, we do this one too. Luckily, they heard that on the radio. Yeah, this all took place in, in 1963, the recording and the release. The uh, uh, musicians next to uh, uh, Johnny Hartman are, of course, uh, uh, John Coltrane on tenor saxophone, McCoy Tyner on the piano, Jim Garrison on bass, Elvin Jones on drums. It was, as I said, produced by Bob Thiele. Engineer was, of course, Rudy Van Gelder. Who else? Cover design, Flynn Viceroy, and liner design by Joe Libau. Photos by Joe Alper. Once more, oops, yeah, here it is. One, I tried to get it without gloss, which, which is when it comes to this beautiful, gorgeous Stoughton jacket. It's so, it's not easy, <laughs> really not. Here you have the whole gatefold, and of course, the back side. And you know, this time, to my own surprise, by the way, uh, I can't compare it to the uh, uh, much earlier analog production 45 RPM version, because I don't have it. <laughs> I was so sure that I have them all, but that's not true. I'm missing this one, which of course is totally inappropriate and unacceptable, but that's how it is. So. I can only talk about this release and I can't compare it to any other releases. Of course, when, when you have a singer like, like uh, Johnny Hartman and musicians like the ones I've, I've told you, when they start, it's unbelievable. The sound of his voice is, is very, very, very well captured. I really do like it. 
not so 100% sure about the mid-range of, of Johnny Hartman's voice because on the other releases I have from him or the other release I have from him there is a slight difference so but but is it the mastering I, I really can't tell the overall sound is analytic beautiful sound stage still very warm and yet again a fantastic addition to every collection in in my opinion i mean to yet again i will say it again and again that we now have it easily at our hands if we want to have it is 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 a great important thing and now here it is here it is as an audio file release it's not a 10 out of 10 like like several other releases uh, of the last acoustic sounds series because those have been unbelievable good unbelievable good i would give it a strong 8.5 to 9 that's that's how i do feel about it but come on this is still quite something that it, it, it is an incredible album the music which is of course the most important thing is it's it's, it's perfect you, mind, you 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 can sit there you can listen with people you can you just have it in the background it's such a cool nice atmosphere your 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 daily pressure level uh, will sink immediately <laughs> immediately trust me it's it's just beautiful great album great release the it was worth the waiting i don't know maybe you have information or informations why this one got delayed so heavily but who cares now it's here I will put down links in the video description below to give you further information or the ability to to buy those through the affiliate links. And yeah, there's there is still another release. I can't wait anymore. And this is Bill Evans 3065. I think this will be in June, July. I hope so because I really want to want to have the 3065 by Bill Evans because 3064 was a fantastic release. Do you have any ideas why this is again and also so heavily delay, delayed? Yeah, but of course I don't want to complain here. They 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 really threw the things at us. We we are not in shortage of of audiophile reissues, re-releases, so everything good. But come on, the three or sixty-five, we I, I want it now. Yeah, that's that's my two cents about this John Coltrane and Johnny Hartman release. Highly recommended, great record, great reissue, great work yet again in these fantastic series. Okay, that's it. Thank you for your time, and see you on the next one. Bye.